Hello everybody out there in the world of pain. I'm talking to you because so far you've gone places and have not had a problem solved. That problem, you've got severe pain in your back or your neck or your spine and you're trying not to have surgery. Listen, if you could do a, some yoga, if you can roll on an exercise ball, you don't need me. You need me if you got ran over by a car, if you're a construction worker who cannot lift their stuff that they need to do at their job, if you're a firefighter whose equipment is now giving you radiating pain down your legs, if you're a police officer and you can't actually do your job walking the neighborhood because the pain is starting to get too great or the pain of that belt, that heavy belt on your hips, my military people, you don't even need me to talk to you. You know how bad it is. And my teachers, you're all out here suffering from things that can clinically be can be fixed, clinically can be reversed, make you live a better life. I have people come in and they say, hey, I can't, you know what, I'm not making love to my wife. You know what, I can't enjoy going to play basketball or racquetball with my friends. Pickleball, I didn't realize there's so many pickleball injuries out there. They're not pickleball injuries, you guys. They're slow degeneration of your spine and of your body's physical health to the point that you can't do things that you should be able to do. And that's why a regenerative answer is your answer. One of the things I wanted to bring is this research from the Journal of Spine. So I didn't just make this up, the Journal of Neurosurgery and Spine in 2016 said low energy extracorporeal shockwave therapy promotes vascular endothelial growth factor expression and angiogenesis and improvement of locomotor and sensory function after spinal cord injury. So when you have a disc pushing into your spinal cord, it's injuring it, or it's also impeding on the nerves that are leaving the spinal cord. And one of the things that they're doing is steroid injections. Well, you get a steroid injection that does not help the blood vessels. In fact, research shows that it's bad for the blood vessels. Well, again, unless you're Superman and you came from Krypton, you need your blood vessels to be able to get oxygen, water, and protein to an area that's trying to repair. And that's not what's happening for you. That's why this pain has been long, so long chronically. We end up using the shockwave therapy to promote angiogenesis, to promote the regrowth of the vascular tissue so your body can get strong again the way it was when you were young. The reason I say it like this is, hey, this is 2016 research. What have they been doing? This is the Journal of Neurosurgery and Spine, and none of it's made it to your doctor, or you wouldn't be watching this video here. So don't ask him how good this is, because if he knew it, he'd already sent you, or she. I don't want to make anybody offended. But for me, I'm offended that it's so difficult for people like you with pain to get a straight answer. If you come here, I'm gonna show you the research. I'm gonna do research-based care on you and we're gonna get you better or we're gonna tell you we can't before you start. I hope this tells you something. Overall, we will post this journal article so you can end up finding it, end up finding it yourself. And then get in here, stop asking the naysayers or the people who say you're gonna be in pain for your right, rest of your life if what I do is gonna work on you because they don't have my passion and they don't have my knowledge this is what I'm promising you.